Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the synchronous five four zero one. Okay. So um, from previous video, we have no the signal interface for the synchronous five four. This part is the right is the right side. This part is the read side. Read the data, write data, okay? For the synchronous FIFO, the most important signal is the full signal and the empty signal. So these two signals is very important for our synchronous FIFO, okay? First, let's take a look at the empty status. So, uh, we all know so when the FIFO has no data, no any data in the FIFO, we call the FIFO is entity. Okay, so the right point and the read point will point the same position here. So for this, uh, for this stage, we uh, introduce one variable means count to present the, how many data in the FIFO. For the FIFO empty, the count equal to zero. So means no any data in the FIFO, okay? So um, for the FIFO full, we all know, we already know uh, from previous video, these status is five or four, okay? So uh, you will see the account value will equal the five four depths, okay? So this is the depths for the five four, okay? So we all know there is a right uh, action and the read action for the FIFO. So what's the, re what's the relationship between the read, between the write and the read and the account? Okay, let's take a look at this chart. So this is a write action, read, and this is a count value, present how many data, in the FIFO, okay? So let's take a look at the first, uh, the first action. So it's like this. So we write one data, three, into the FIFO. Previously looks like this. No three this position is empty and now we write one data into the file but we didn't read anything so we still point the first position here this is the read point okay means read is zero and write is one so at this moment, the account, the account value increased by one. Previously, previously is only have two data inside the file form. And now we have three data. So means the account increased by one. Okay. So next situation. It will be like this. We didn't write any data. We didn't add any data into the FIFO. The write is zero. But we read out one data. We read the one out. Take a look here. Okay, this is original data, one. And we do one read action read the one outside the file okay so the account 
the current variable decreased by 1, minus 1. So now it's two data inside the FIFO. Okay. So next situation. At the same time, we have the right action. We write one data. And also we have one read action. We read out the two. Okay. Take a look at it again. So here is empathy. Now we write four into the FIFO. And here is two. At the same time, we read out the two out the FIFO. Okay? So the, the count value here keep zero didn't change keep zero okay the last station the last situation will be like this no any right action and no any read action okay so of course the count variable will keep zero so only have only at this situation, write, write data and read data here, the count variable will change, okay, either increase by one, either decrease by one, okay. So uh, this is the relationship between the write, read and the count. So when we have this uh, table, we will be able to code it. And when we get the current value, valuable, and we will be able to tell us whether the FIFO is full or whether the FIFO is empty. So the right devices will write data into the FIFO according to the full signal and the read data will read out the, the read devices will read out the data according to the empty signal. Okay, so uh, that's it. This is for the FIFO01. The next video we will to actually coding the synchronous FIFO to see how to do how to design the FIFO, how to uh, program it. Okay, so that's it. This is Michael. Thank you. Thank you for your watching. See you next time.